Hi, I'm Juno Perdome, a yacht broker here in Miami Beach, Florida with Dennis and Yachting. Today I have something very special for you. Have you ever walked on a yacht and you feel like you're on a five-star hotel? This is what I feel when I walk on board OWN, a 2017 Azimuth 72 Flybridge. If you've spent time on the water in Miami or the Med, you'd recognize this profile from any distance. One of her distinctive features that makes her stand out is her sprawling flybridge. The flybridge is where you'll spend majority of your time, but there are also two other exterior spaces that'll give the flybridge a run for its money. First is the bow. It has a very open clamshell style with seating and lounging space for six to eight guests. The other exterior space is the covered aft deck. This is perfect when you want the benefits of being outside without the sun. As far as her interior is concerned, she's a four stateroom all ensuite with huge windows that give you an indoor outdoor feel. All that being said, I'm excited to take you on board to show you why she reminds me of being at a five star hotel. Here we are at the Teak Hydraulic Swim Platform. You have your swim ladder and your chalks for your jet skis. The swim platform drops down in the water, giving you easy access coming in and out. On your port side is your cable master for your shore power. Integrated into the transom are two doors. On your starboard side is your access to your lazarette and your dive compressor. On the port side is access to the crew space. Here we are in the crew area. To the starboard side is your captain quarters. And forward in the common area is a single berth. Adjacent to that is your head. Before we go in the engine room, I also want to mention that there is a washer dryer combo, which is one of two on board in the common area. Next, let's take a look at the engine room. In the engine room, you have a pair of Man V12s giving you 1400 horsepower each. She will cruise right around 22 to 24 knots and do a top end around 32 knots. One of the things I like is her Miami Silver Hall, making her look like a bullet when she's running through the water. As you can tell from the drone footage this morning, the Atlantic was a lake. This means I got to experience her at full speed, which is every boater's dream. Here we are at the cockpit. Overhead, we have a nice hard top that keeps us nice and covered from those sunny days. Center line is your U-shaped seating and your teak cockpit table. Here, you can dine up to eight guests. Servicing this area is your wet bar. You have a cutting board, sink, and fridge. Port and starboard are your aft boarding doors. Immediately after these are your two quick winches. Here in the cockpit, you'll find your additional docking station. She's equipped with bow and stern thruster and joystick control. This ties in perfectly with the Raymarine camera, so if the captain is either at the upper helm or lower helm station, he'll be able to see aft on his Raymarine controls. As I'm making my way forward, it's impossible to miss those huge windows, which is one of Azimuth's signatures. Here we are at the bow, one of my favorite points of the boat. What's truly impressive, you can have eight to 10 guests and still feel comfortable up here. One of the key features that Azimuth truly hit on is this clamshell style shade. What I really love about this is when you're done sunbathing, you sit under the shaded cover and enjoy the scenery. For the guest space is your ground tackle and cleats and locker storage. Because Azimuth knew guests would spend a lot of time up here, everything is hidden below the decks, so there's nothing for guests to trip on. From here, we're gonna head aft so we can make our way into the salon. Walking into the salon, you get a modern Italian feel. It's reminiscent of a contemporary villa in Portofino. The aft half of the salon is your living area. When you're not outside enjoying the sun, you'll most likely be in here. Starboard aft walking into the salon is your mini bar. You have glass storage, a wine cooler, and glassware. Forward of this is your seating area, which can hold up to 10 guests. Behind the love seat is your Samsung Smart TV. Forward on the port side is your galley. 
She's equipped with everything you need for a long weekend with the family. Here in the galley, you have your Waco fridge and freezer, stainless steel sink, four burner Miele cooktop, microwave convection oven, and dishwasher. Adjacent to the galley is your dining table for eight, which exudes the feel that you're at a seaside restaurant. Forward of the galley on the port side is an additional dining area for four. Across from the dining nook is your lower helm station. If you know about weather in the Caribbean, you know it can be very temperamental. That's why you'd be glad to have an indoor lower helm station. Here at the helm station, you have two captain seats, as well as all the navigation you'll need to run this boat. Here you have two bonding engine displays, two Raymarine hybrid touches, your Seakeeper control, two Raymarine multi-function display, your Humphrey trim tabs, and your bow and stern thruster. Additionally on the starboard side is your quick chain counter, joystick, and throttles. From here, let's step down below and check out the guest accommodations. Coming down these steps, I love the atrium style design, letting in a lot of natural light. Making our way aft is your full beam master. Center line is your king berth, which is overwhelmed by light with two hall side windows. On the port side, it's all about storage. You have an abundance of cabinets, as well as a hanging locker. On the forward bulkhead is the TV hidden behind a mirror. Here on the starboard side is your seating for two, which you'll truly enjoy with your huge hall side window. Aft of here is your ensuite. You have your his and hers sink and stand up shower. Just outside of the master is your second washer dryer combo. Forward of this on the starboard side is your guest stateroom. You have side by side berths. Samsung TV, and ensuite. On the port side is your guest stateroom with a full berth and ensuite. Walking all the way forward is your guest VIP. Center line is your full berth, two hanging lockers, Samsung TV, and ensuite. Now let's leave here, make our way up to the flybridge, which is our last stop. Here we are aft on the flybridge, where we store some of our water toys. Here we have two sea bobs, an inflatable slide. Additionally, there's a Kenyan grill, two burner cooktop, and storage for your appliances. Moving forward on your starboard side is your second half of the galley. Here at the wet bar, you have your sink, prep station, fridge, ice maker, and storage. Adjacent of the wet bar is your large alfresco dining area. Forward of the dining area is additional seating. It's also equipped with a high-low table that can be converted into a sun pad. Here at the upper helm station is primarily where you run the boat from. All the equipment here is identical to the lower helm station. People are drawn to this area because of the amount of entertainment space and the fact that it has a convertible sunroof. That means you could be under the sun almost anywhere you find yourself. However, the entire flybridge can be converted by closing the sunroof and letting out a huge aft awning. Thank you for joining me today on Board Home, a 2017 Azimut 72 flybridge located here in Miami, Florida. If you'd like further information or schedule a private showing, please feel free to contact me anytime.